Good night, everybody. Having fun tonight? Yeah. How's the food? I see nobody's been left to the hospital. My name is uh, Ben. I am uh, an alien. Not the kind that um, comes from space in the middle of the night, the kind that jumps over the fence in the middle of the night. Uh, well, like many aliens, I work in the field of technology. Don't you love technology? Isn't it great? I mean, it's amazing. But they, come, they sometimes come up with like crazy stuff. Like, uh, this other, the other day I saw this thing they came up with. It's a mouth guard for football. They put it in the, in the mouth and it records, like, the quarterback gets, like, slammed or something for analysis. It sends the data from the impact to some database, whatever. Sounds good, but I guess they just figured cell phones are not dangerous enough, so they put the transmitter inside your mouth. <laughs> really? What's next? Asbestos helmets? <laughs> But, you know, even though I'm pretty good with computers, other stuff, not that great. Like my car, for example, I got an old car. It's not in great shape. Um, it has some issue that I don't really understand. Maybe you can help me. It seems like when I drive really, really fast, it makes this kind of strange noise. It sounds kind of like, ooh, ooh. Do you know what that means? Maybe you can help me figure so, it out. I'm a bad navigator as well. I, I don't find my place. I have this... Uh, Gizmo in the car is called a GPS because it tells me where my ass is when I get lost. The other day, my wife asked me to get uh, some milk from um, Safeway. So I, I, I didn't know where, where, where Safeway was, so she said, well, it's by um, Radio Shack. And I said, oh, of course. She said, do you know where Radio Shack is? And I said, of course, it's, it's by Safeway. <laughs> um, but, you know, Technology. So I, I, I got one of those new 3D televisions uh, a week, a couple of weeks ago, and I, I plug it in. It turns out it's got like an internet connection. So I plug the thing in, it connects to the internet, it starts downloading updates, and then it rebooted twice. It's <laughs> <laughs> be amazing. They, made, they, they, they found a way to make the same kind of crap we suffer on computers, on other stuff, without having to own a computer. <laughs> but, but, you know, 3D TVs. People talk about it. Like my dad, for example, he says that he whines about the fact that uh, it gets him dizzy and uncomfortable. I don't understand what the big fuss is. I mean, on, it's just a TV. If it, if it bothers you too much, it's so simple to solve. Just cover one eye. No more 3D. So, speaking of movies, there's this classic scene in many movies where there's some kind of bad guy tycoon who wants to get the, the hero to sell him the house or, or his land or whatever because he needs it for the casino. And there's always this classic scene they, like, they kidnap his children or threaten to kill him. And he shows that they see the, the hero who doesn't want, doesn't want to sell the house and they put a gun to his head and help sign the deed now or he's going to shoot him or whatever. And do you buy that stuff? Does that make sense? Like, I mean, it's a big tycoon, drug lord, whatever. Um, he's perfectly fine with torture, with killing, kidnapping, but no, he won't. Forced his signature on the deed because that's like illegal. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, technology has changed a lot in so many ways. The internet is coming to anything. Even the fundamentals of our culture are changing. Like, for example, now things that happen in Vegas stay on YouTube forever. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it changed me too. Like last, last year, I spent Thanksgiving with a guy I met on Craigslist. Absolutely true. I published something for sale, came over, he invited us for, uh, for Thanksgiving, we spent it there. It was a lot of fun. But this year, we're not going to do it with, uh, we're not spend with them because it was outfit by a guy from eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. Woo!